Hi, I'm Nico Shipchak, representing the Rain Spirit Fight Team, uh, the first internal martial arts team in MMA. Today I'm going to show you some moves, um, all based from Tai Chi, which really focuses on efficiency and uh, not using too much muscular strength so you don't tie yourself out. So I'm trying to pick some moves today which are relevant for an MMA fight. The first one we're going to look at is a body kick and a simple takedown we can do where we harmonise with their movement and we get the takedown, bring the fight to the floor with us on top. So a lot of these moves you can practice on your own. This is what it would look like if I was doing it on my own. I imagine my partner here is going to give me the right body kick. He would be orthodox stance on the southpaw stance. That's a very common attack they'll throw. As he's coming towards me, I need to move out of the way of the power. I'm also going to close the distance between us at the same time. So I'm stepping in and round. The arms will catch the leg. And then I'm going to pivot and drop my weight. So if you're practicing Tai Chi form on your own, it might look something like this. And you would imagine your opponent there, you would imagine the feeling of both your energy and his energy. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my partner now. His name is Nick Lowe, part of the Rain Spirit Fight Team. He is a Chinese massage specialist, acupuncturist, and a yoga expert. Okay, so Nick's going to give me a right turning kick. The first thing I need to make sure I'm doing is stepping out of the danger. Okay, so even if I don't catch it, even if I don't block it, even if I don't get the takedown, I'm making sure it's not going to hurt me. Okay, so I'm aiming not just to move away in this direction, but I'm also coming slightly closer to him. So I want to aim to move just outside of his front leg. So he throws it now, and I get the takedown. Okay? So I'm not blocking it and receiving damage like you might see in the traditional uh, Thai boxing way. I'm getting out of the way of power. He's continuing the momentum. So a few more times. Making sure when I finish the move, I'm in a good base, solid stance. Here, I can come on the inside if I need to, making sure I'm not going to get up hit, keep control of this leg, so I can work my ground pound or passing. Okay, from the other angle now. Okay. So, one hand can control near the ankle. I'll use my sharp outer edge blade from my forearm, high up, and his leg. Here. Okay. Just doing the leg for a moment. Okay. So here, and here. This one comes up, this one sinks down. I'm turning the waist, and I'm going to go slow. Again. Again. Pass, do what you need to do afterwards. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, come to brainspirit.com and uh, I can share some more techniques with you.